Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I filmed a video like this. It feels so good and I can finally do a fun themed video all about my clinical bag. So if you guys are new here, I am a surgical tech student and I live in Orlando, Florida. If you wanna join me on my journey in my schooling, life, getting a dog, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Also follow me on Instagram, it would mean the absolute world to me. And with that being said, let's just get on into what's in my clinical bag. So this is a The Tote Bag by Marc Jacobs, but it's a fake one. So if you wanna check it out, I will leave the link down below. Um, I got this on Amazon. It looks exactly like the real one, so I don't know, it works out. It is pretty small. It's not the smallest one. I think it's like the medium size. I was using my long champ or long chomp as some people say that bag, but the lockers, I will try to find a picture on Google and show you. The lockers are super skinny, okay? You have to shove the stuff in your locker. I just use one that's like not assigned anyone and it has to be cleaned out daily. That's how I can bring a bag, um, but it's super skinny. So I had to like change my bag. So I went to this one because it's like cloth so I can like squeeze it in and shove it in the locker super easy I also have my lunch box with my lunch in it but that's not really like in my clinical bag so a lot of people say to not bring a lot of stuff with you to clinical because you might not get a locker or someone might take something there's nothing that valuable in this bag and this is a fake like designer bag so if someone were to take this like it's fine except it does have my wallet in it. So hopefully, fingers crossed that no one takes it. But that's besides the point. Anyway, let's just get on to what's in the bag. So the first thing I'm gonna take out of the bag uh, is my jacket. It is so cold in the OR. So I have this gray jacket because the gray is what type of scrubs we have to wear and it just like matches my outfit. So I have this gray uh, jacket that I always carry with me. I don't wear it in the like hallways of the different ORs because like I'm so afraid I'm gonna forget it or like lose it and I almost lost it once. So it stays in the locker and for lunch or my breaks or anything like that, I then I wear it because I am cold. Next up, I always have a scrub cap in my bag and this is one that I got for Christmas from one of my surgical tech classmates. I love this one. This is probably like one of my favorite ones. Next up I have my belt bag and this is something that you guys have already seen like the what's in my belt bag video but essentially it just has like all my essentials so quickly it just has birth control, um, celebration, like key card to get in like the parks and pool. I have my wallet, I have some floss from my recent dentist appointment. My sunglasses are normally in this little pouch thing, um, and then wallet. So this is just something that I can take out and just be on the go with, or I can put it in my other tote bag, like my actual purse tote bag. And I just keep it in here because to keep everything together. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, it just looks like a bunch of random stuff. So first, I have my keys. I always keep my keys in like this back pocket. You can kind of tell like these are my keys and have a little surgical tech keychain, AirPods, all the things, all the necessities on the keychain. From this back pocket, there's two like little pockets. So there's like one right here and then there is one right here. The second pocket, I keep my badges and a hair tie. So basically that is what that looks like. This is what my clinical badge looks like. And this is just like my student badge. And, and then I just have them together on this badge reel. And the badge reel just says like surgical technologist with a bunch of instruments on it. I absolutely love it. So I have that. And then my hair tie to tie my hair back when I have to put the scrub cap on. Then I have my reading glasses. And the only reason why I have these in the clinical bag is because I like to wear glasses when I'm driving at 4.30, 5 a.m. on the road just because I'm so tired. So I always have those in the bag. Next up, I have an extra pen just in case the pen that I have with my student papers that the preceptors have to fill out. If that goes missing, I have a backup pen in case someone takes my pen. Speaking of the clinical papers, 
These are the clinical papers that I always have on my person. I put them in my pocket, like my leg pocket, and I make sure I always have them because we have to like log our cases and stuff. So I will show you guys as much as I can. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'll like show you just these lines. So basically over here is where like we put the date, um, in these big, like long, like this wide space, I put like the name of the procedure and guys like procedures have really long names. Like I was kind of shocked when I like first discovered the names of procedures and it's so detailed, but I mean, it does make sense why it has to be detailed. Next, this other line right here is the surgeon's name. So like surgeon smith or surgeon george like i don't know but that's where the surgeon's name goes the next one over right here um is the specialty so if it's like OBGYN, gyn i should say ent urology general like that's what goes there and then these three like one two three boxes so this first box is the first scrub roll the second one is the second scrub roll and then the o um, there's like an O and it's for observation and basically the preceptor just has to put their initial in one of those boxes. And then this is this part, basically the preceptor just like has to sign date and initial, uh, like that they worked with you and stuff. And then this part of the sheet is basically just like my signature and my teacher's signature to, I don't know, say that this is complete. <laughs> Next up is the preceptor evaluation. And basically this is what it looks like. I will read to you guys kind of what it says if you guys are interested. So I'm just gonna read off like some of the points that the evaluation says in case you're interested. I don't know, I find this to be interesting if more people made like surgical tech videos that are in school. Um, so basically there's a rank five being very skilled, able to perform tasks without any assistance. And then um, zero is like failing. <laughs> that would be horrible if like someone got zeros, but um, it just kind of like is on a scale. So the um, first one is like exhibits knowledge of the procedure, demonstrates preparedness, um, assists with opening supplies and aseptic technique, properly dons sterile attire, uses effective time and motion before, during, after the case, undertakes initiative during the surgical procedures, watches, listens, and pays attention to the surgeon and field, keeps careful control over the location of sharps and instruments during and after the case, demonstrates interest in surgical procedure, de demonstrates good aseptic technique. And then the second part is like ranking like satisfactory or unsatisfactory. So it's like arrives on time, follows instructions, uses preceptor as resource, demonstrates concern for the patient, maintains composure during stressful situations, cooperative attitude, wears proper uh, attire, wears surgical mask, um, hair completely covered with surgical hat, assists cleanup and turnover of the room, except accepts constructive criticism, reports to personnel when leaving the room for any reason, limits breaks and lunches to properly allotted time, ID worn and visible, does not use cell phone. So that's basically our like little sheet. And I always have that on me. It's not really always in my bag, but I make sure to always have like that ready to go. So when I get into the like the parking garage, I just put that in my pocket. We're getting down to the last little bits. So I have my sunglasses obviously. So I just have my sunglasses case. Then I have lotion because as you guys can see, like my hands have like eczema and stuff. So they're always super dry. I cannot use Avogard because it just like irritates my skin. So I have to scrub every time, which is kind of annoying. I've gone faster though, cause like I'm like hurrying to like get ready and all scrubbed in. So always have lotion. And this is the Zoella Wonder Hand Cream. I actually got this off of eBay cause I really like the way it smelled. Next up, I have two pads just in case I start the period. <laughs> Last but not least, I have some hand sanitizer cause like we are in a hospital and it's like, you always want to be sanitizing your hands, washing your hands, all that just because we're in a hospital. But anyway, that is going to be it for what is in my clinical bag, surgical tech edition. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.